Hi friends, welcome to Arc Tutorials. Today we are starting a new series, brand new series on Node.js. This is a full tutorial series for absolute beginners as well as for experienced professionals who have worked on Node.js. This will cater to both audiences as we start from basic and we will deep dive and learn and explore every aspect of Node.js in how practical you can use it in your applications. This is the first part. So we'll start with the introduction. We'll keep it very, very simple to make you understand what is Node.js. What, why do you need it, right? Is it a buzzword? Why do we need it? What apps are we building? Are we trying to build? Who uses it? And above all, it will give you a foundation to know why you should go about learning Node.js. Let's get started, friends. My name is Sridhar. I'm your host. I bring over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer, and I've worked on various modern technology stack, including Angular, Node, React, Express, MongoDB, and much, much more. I also bring a strong knowledge on DevOps process, tools, and platforms like AWS, GCP, and Azure. I'm here to share my knowledge with you, and I'm also here to learn from you. So this is a journey where we will travel together, we will learn and grow together. This is part of the Node.js full tutorial playlist. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you bookmark it, make sure you add it to your um, favorites so that you can refer to it. I'm planning to add around 25 tutorials to it, which has all the way deep dive from basic to advanced with all live examples and hands-on practical knowledge, right? So I can assure you at the end of this 25 uh, episodes or tutorials, you will be so much confident in Node.js that you can go and build your own apps. That's my guarantee to you. All right, so what are we going to cover in those 25 tutorials? What's, what's in store for you, right? Why should you follow this particular playlist? Will it help you? So I've put together a kind of an outline you, if you may say so, this will give you a good um, kind of a picture, overall picture of what you will learn, how you will learn, and the step-by-step -step process. So there are around 25, like I said, uh, tutorials that I've planned, which will cover all aspects of Node.js. Today, we will start with introduction, and we will, like I said, we'll deep dive into a lot of rendering at server side using Express, so that journey will cover end-to-end. -end. All right, so let's first talk about node.js right so why are we learning it is it because your aunt's son is studying it or learning it or is or working on it that's a common phrase right that someone else's son is studying it so we i want to learn it right my team lead knows it so i want to learn it let's not do that right uh, i sincerely hope that you don't want to learn it because someone else is studying it or learning it or doing it practical we will learn it because we want to master it. We want to become full stack. We'll see all about that. But let's also talk some of the misconceptions or scary part about Node.js. Now, it's a common thing that you go and ask, what is Node.js, right? You go into a room full of engineers and then you ask, what is Node.js? A lot of people will be stunned. A lot of people will give you vague answers. A lot of people will give you confusing answers. Some will give you dangerous answers, right? Like for example, even start with official website, right? Uh, so it says Node.js is a JavaScript runtime built on Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine. If you are an absolute beginner, right? Think of it that way, come with a blank mind and just read this line again. Node.js is a JavaScript runtime built on Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine. You don't understand anything, right? As a beginner, as a fresher, someone who is trying to learn Node.js, you don't understand anything even from the official website. Now, the next thing you do is you go ahead and do a Google search, right? So there you see more confusing results, right? Like Node.js is a popular open source cross platform JavaScript runtime environment that executes JavaScript code outside a web browser, right? So you don't know what Node.js is. You don't know what it's capable of, right? You don't know what are common examples. So try doing that. Try doing a simple Google search and you'll see some weird, long, um, confusing answers, right? But I am here to help you. 
Now let me break it down for you in simple language. Right? What is Node.js? So if you ask me, this is how I will explain to you. I will explain to you that Node.js is an open source project. Now this is very, very important because upfront, I'm telling you that it's open source, which means there is no cost. There is no license. There is no dependency for you to pay someone or buy license or proprietary thing. It's open source. Anybody can learn. Anybody can download. Anybody can contribute. Number one. Number two, Node.js runs on various operating machines. Since it's open source, it's not restricting you to work on any single particular machine, right? So if you are a developer who loves Windows, you, you are feel free to, you can use it. If you are on MacBook, you can still use Node.js. If you are on Linux, Ubuntu, anything, the idea here is it runs on any machine, right? Be it a normal laptop, be it a server. Node.js allows us to use JavaScript as a server side language. Now, this is a very, very interesting point, and I will spend some minutes here explaining to you. Now, think of it this way. Back in the day, if you have worked with any, any application, right? So you would have seen that they use backend technologies, also called as server side languages. Now, some of the common server side languages are PHP, .NET, Java, Spring Hibernate, Microservices, Python, Ruby on Rails, etc. So if you notice, all of these are compilation, compiled languages, right? So JavaScript was till before Node.js comes into picture, JavaScript was looked up as a client specific language, right? Client side language, which means JavaScript runs in your browser, right? JavaScript runs in your browser. But with Node.js, we are able to run JavaScript outside of the browser on a machine. Now, I'll repeat this sentence one more time. Pay attention. JavaScript used to run only on browser, browser, right? JavaScript used to run only on browser. But now with Node.js, we can run JavaScript anywhere on the machine, which means now we can use it as a server side language or a scripting language, right? Though it's not a scripting language, it's mostly because it's a runtime, right? So that's why we say that Node.js allows us to use JavaScript as a server side language. Very, very important aspect. A lot of times if you are attending interview or talking to someone, they'll use this phrase. So remember, understand it well. Now I told you that using Node.js, we can use JavaScript as a server side language. So what all can we do on a server, right? So some of the popular use cases of server side languages are to do logging, right? You need to log records. You need to log the input data, output data, log files, etc. You need to update, create folders. You need to create files. So you can do pretty much everything using Node.js. So Node.js allows us to create, read, update, delete files, folders on server, just like any other server side programming language, right? Now it's easy to communicate with database. Right. So there are frameworks on top of node which are written like Express.js using which it's very easy to configure, communicate with the databases. It helps us to build that I, I layer, right, which is integration layer or your middleware, what you call it. So this is what Node.js is. This is what you should explain it to any beginner and why you should learn because you already know it. Right. Let's see that in the next slide. But why Node.js? That's the question number one, that why people are adopting to Node.js. Because like I said, the first and foremost thing is it's free and open source, which means there is no license cost associated to it. Node.js represents a JavaScript, right? Which means we as a front end developer, we all know JavaScript, how easy it is to just write a back end code also in JavaScript, right? And since it is JavaScript, it can run anywhere in any machine, any server, right? And we all know Node.js makes it blazingly fast. Okay. Since it is running on V8 JavaScript engine, which is what Chromium, right? Chrome is working on that, running on that. It's a single threaded, which means all the operations are working on a single thread. It's non-blocking, which means if there are five requests which are coming in, it will not wait for one by one. 
if first request is taking time, it will go ahead and execute second, third, fourth, fifth. So it's non-blocking and it's async programming, right? Which means all calls are individual, independent. We'll learn all about it in coming episodes, but just focus on why we are using Node.js. And then comes the multi-request handling mechanism results in extraordinarily good and high performance. So since these are doing, like I said you, if there are multiple requests coming in, it will not wait for one that is non-blocking, right? So that way it becomes extremely fast and results in high performance of applications. Now, the question comes down to you, right? Node.js and me, really? So why should you learn Node.js, right? Think of it this way. You have been working on Angular, React, or any other programming language. Now, why should you learn Node.js? Now I'll tell you why. There are two important um, parallels if you see in terms of technology stack. One is called mean stack, the other is called MERN stack, right? So M-E-A-N stands for Mongo, Express, Angular, and Node. MERN stands for Mongo, Express, React, and Node. Either way, you have to learn Node, right? So these are two popular ones. Again, if you are coming from the front-end world, right? It's much easier for you to pick up because you already know JavaScript, right? So it helps you become a full stack developer. And once you become full stack developer, obviously you can demand more money in market and people are ready to pay you more if you know multiple, if you are a full stack developer. And since these uh, Node.js is used by very, very large companies, enterprises and large complex enterprise setup applications, it's here for long term, right? It's it's going to be here. Um, it's not going to fade away in next three months or six months. So don't worry on that. All right, finally, maybe you can also put this in your um, matrimony profile that you know Node.js, maybe it will increase your marriage prospects. Maybe, why not? Give it a try if you are looking for one. All right, so now Node.js, is it really used? Now, this is another question I keep getting a lot of times that who is using Node.js? Why should I learn? Are there enough jobs, right? Uh, are there enough openings for that? Uh, are there enough projects which are running on Node.js? So I can assure you that companies from any size, from small startups to large giants are using Node.js. It's, 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 if you take up any large enterprise setup or small setup, it's easy, it's fast. It's the results, the turnaround time of building apps and APIs is much, much faster in Node.js, right? Than the traditional ones. And I can assure you some of the world's largest technology companies are using, and they're also releasing a lot of uh, frameworks which are complementary on top of Node.js, which only means that it's keep growing in the ecosystem. Now, if you still don't believe me, just go ahead and do a search in a job portal for Node.js or Express.js and you'll find yourself how many jobs are there. My only thing, please don't do it from your office laptop. Okay, that's the only advice I'll give you. All right, friends. So that being said, that brings us to the end of uh, this particular series of the first uh, part. In the next part, we'll start with our installation of Node.js, right? If you like my work, a lot of you have been asking me, how can you contribute to help me? I would say if you can buy me a coffee, that would be of much help. That would keep me motivated. That will keep me encouraged to bring you more tutorials, keep bring you much better content. So this is the link, buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. Uh, if you can go there and buy me a coffee, I'll be thankful to you. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode where we start with installation of Node.js on Windows machine and we'll take it from there. Thank you so much.